I'm going to show you one more today called the cyclic redundancy check. To understand why people prefer cyclic redundancy checks instead of checksums, let's go back and look at the checksum for just one second. So if I had this, 3, 4, 7, what would the checksum information be here? Who can tell me what would be in the box for the checksum? Uh, yes, Mr. Mulcahy. Negative 14. Negative 14. Okay, you can see that if we add up all those numbers, we're going to get a zero. So that would be the checksum there. Question, question. Let's say that uh, when I'm sending this information, right, I'm, I'm transmitting this information, accidentally the three got turned into a, a four, and the four got sent okay, but the seven got uh, turned into a six. So I accidentally added one here, and I subtracted one here, and then this still got sent along. And what I want to know is, is the checksum test going to pass now or fail? We want it to fail because we got these errors here. You see that, right? Is it going to pass or is it going to fail now? Ms. Mila? It's going to pass. Do you see that? So I, I added one here, I subtracted one here, and the checksum came out the same. So people don't like checksum because you can get some weird error situations where it will sort of still pass. So. What they've come up with is this other slightly more sophisticated technique called a CRC. And this technique is very similar, except what happens here is that instead of adding all the numbers together, what we do is we just mush them together into a giant number. So for example, this number here, now we typically take two digits here like that. And we just put them all together. So we just go like this, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 7. So we mush them all together. Once again, mod 256. Then we get, we take the, the rest, and sometimes we, we do the negative of it. Like I said, sometimes we just take it as is, whatever. That's the CRC. The advantage of this scheme here, when we mush all the numbers together, is that you can see now that if I increase the 3 by 1 and decrease the 4 by 1, or do, it, it's the, 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 the CRC is not going to stay the same. You see that, right? It's not going to stay the same. So this is more often done than checksum. Because this math is going to be harder for you to do, I'm not going to test you on this the next time we're together. The, the quiz will only have the parity which was the one that I started off with. Remember, we had the grid, and you had to figure out which bit was bad, right? And the other one would be the checksum using this kind of a scheme here. So those are the only two that you're going to be quizzed on.